Two versions of Canon 100mm f2.8 macro. To know more, jump in! Hundred mil f2.8 macro is a crystal sharp and well known for food photography. I'm a food photographer myself, and I do not recommend it for photo projects. Why? Simply because of its narrow range. Hundred is a really narrow focal length, so you will be ending up setting your camera far away from your subject to capture the whole plate. For example, instead, I prefer using 24-105 f4 for its focal versatility. And anyway, I will be using Aperture F8 or F11 to reduce the shallow depth of field as possible. This doesn't mean today I'm not going to test both 100 macro lenses in full photography side by side. These pictures are straight out from the camera without a touch of editing. I used one speed light attached to 60 by 60 cm softbox, 24 by 24 inches size. On the opposite side, I put a white card to bounce the light and fill the other side of the scene. 6D Mark II is the camera I used for this test. I put it on a tripod and turned the image stabilization off on 100 IS, mainly to prevent the lens stabilizer causing possible vibration to my image. Always turn off lens IS when using it on a tripod. I captured 4 images on each lens from f2.8 to f11, really impressed by f2.8 look. However, most clients ask to make all the plate content in focus, so this look doesn't work for most of it. And for the following test, I selected on the camera the same focus point in both tests. It seems the camera didn't focus on the same point in each photo, couldn't figure out if it is the lens or the camera issue. The focus point I selected was on the large basal leaf. Unfortunately, on 100 old version, the focus is found on the small leaf. Both lenses delivered the same pretty result and quality. On the right, 100 serial IS. On the left, 100 old version. Zooming in, I don't really see any difference except the focus point. Same at f4 and 5.6, no significant difference. Um, I would like to mention that I used the same camera settings in both tests. The only two things I noticed, the old 100 is slightly wider. Have a look on the edges, the camera was fixed and I repeated the test two times um, and the camera is fixed in place. And also images from 100 3L IS are third stop lighter. 100 3L IS at f11 is slightly sharper um, in fact it's really hard to see even when zooming in both lenses perform and deliver the same image quality i used them on a tripod and no doubt image stabilization is needed if you are shooting handheld and to know more check other part of this review this is a part of a review video and to know more about both lenses side by side Specs, sharpness, and performance in portrait, macro, food, or product photography, click on the top card upright. And to check my food photography work, head up to my website omargumrawi.com slash photography. That's it. Let me know which lens you own, you tested, or planning to buy. And if you are looking for other content and reviews, head up to my channel and check out my other videos. And if you like this, Subscribe and stay tuned for coming videos. Mm -hmm. Boom.